Hello ladies and gentlemen, just giving you guys a quick update from the last clip that you guys have seen. Man, I look like shit today. Early in the morning, tired as hell, uh, lack of energy is at a 10 out of 10. Nah, it could be worse, I'm lying. Hit an all time low, weigh in. Like, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, and so, so the picture I posted on Instagram about four, which I'll post here now, um, the comparison, I hit that level of conditioning with my body about 10 pounds heavier than I did in that picture. And now I'm slowly getting back to that same weight, which means I'm really pushing conditioning or I'm just depleting myself even more. But that's something to say in its own because it's not proper English. That first picture, um, I was already de kind of depleted as it is. So it's kind of cool to see that you can push the conditioning based on uh, based on just being able to put on some mass in, in the year, give or take, that I bulked. Probably a little bit longer than a year. Um, but anyways, as you can tell, I'm like, eh, and my brain is really slow now. And today is actually a scheduled refeed. And so today, I'm not going to show you the meals. You guys have seen me refeed before. Uh, I'm just going to be, ha I'm just going to have a very high carb intake today and just really enjoy myself as far as calories go. And um, it's definitely due. And so... Plans for the couple days moving forward. Today is a Saturday. I probably shouldn't be telling you guys that. But today is a Saturday. I plan to refeed today. And then get back on schedule for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday-ish. Maybe Friday. Um, hit slightly lower. I'm going to drop the carbs, maybe 10 grams, if that. I'm going to increase the activity a little bit. Try to push the conditioning for next weekend. And that's it. After next weekend... It's over, I'm gonna start rebuilding the metabolism and then going back to building strength. This, this cut is taking too long and I just need to just stop it. I really just wanted to push conditioning and see what I can do and um, test a couple of different things that I was curious about at lower body fat levels. But once again, this is something that I'm not very fond of doing with clients and I don't particularly do with clients. So I don't, don't ask me about this shit. But I will present the information for you guys just in case you guys are insane like me, I guess. And the reality is just not worth it. But anyways, I'm talking way too much. I need food and I'm depleted as shit. So I will see you guys whenever I turn this camera back on. Oh yes, 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 yes. Something about being able to refeed, it's beautiful. Uh, this actually is a couple minutes after that video I just filmed, probably talking deliriously. Um, couple, like a couple snacks, meals in, here are the macros so far. You guys didn't see that, there you go. Um, 49 protein, 122 carb, 13 fat, 12 fiber. Um, and the funny part, the funny part is that that carb intake that I have like an hour in to waking up and eating is half of my carbs normally on the, the, the crazy weekdays when I'm trying to lose weight. It's insane. And that brings me to a good point. I feel like I've been knocking dieting throughout these vlogs I've been knocking it, like talking a lot of shit about how it's not good to do, it's not good to get this lean. And that's my major point I want to come across, is it, it's not that good to get this lean. Or to sacrifice performance um, and some health things, if you will, to be lean. It's just not worth it in my mind. I find it stupid. But with that being said, let me talk about some of the benefits of dieting. First of all, the obvious one that nobody talks about is... Do, dieting more often allows you to get to know your body a little bit more. Of course, the way your body metabolizes food is a little bit different after months and weeks and years of training with weights. And excuse me because I'm, I'm still a little foggy, so trying to get this shit out is a little bit more difficult. But um, your body metabolizes food a little bit better, and so that's a huge benefit. But that, apart from that, the reality is because of that, your body does change and then you can really see how you could tweak your body if you're just trying to cut for a week or two. It's going to be a lot easier once you get to know your body and how your body reacts to certain macros or how quickly you could drop calories or how aggressive you can without depleting. Things like that are very cool. Another cool thing about dieting is that it teaches you, in my mind, to really value macros. And what I mean by that is that because you're probably a little bit more strict with your calories, maybe you don't have as much fat or carbs to play with, you're able to really get to know foods and it gives you an ability, if you will, to eyeball things a lot better. So you can go to a store or a restaurant or, or you can go eat 
with friends, there's that mental fog again, and it'll allow you to be able to eyeball the food and say, oh, I know what that is, that's about this and this and this, and then you can maybe bring up the, the calories about 10% just to give yourself a little bit of leeway, and you're pretty good. I'm fairly good about tracking via eyeball for the most part, and so that only comes from measuring food all the time, consistently, over and over and over and over and over, and getting to know what food looks like, what volume looks like from chicken, what volume looks like from this, blah, blah, blah. Another cool thing is that you learn to value foods a little bit more. So as you've been leaning out for a long time and your fat intake is probably a little lower, your carb intake is a little lower, you start to really value those macros. You start to really look at those and say, wow, you know, I appreciate these things a little bit more than I did when I was in a bulk and I would just would take things for granted and just eat everything in sight. Now you would fucking just stab somebody for some peanut butter. And that's another benefit to dieting. You know, as, and I'm speaking as a person living in America, but as an American I feel like you take a lot of shit for granted. And you take a lot of things that are available to you for granted and this kind of helps sometimes bring it back into the fold, back into the idea that you are on a very strict numbers, you're supposed to be very diligent and very disciplined in what you're doing and you, you you need to and so when you get back to a bulk or when you get to a slight surplus and you start getting that food and your metabolism's up a little higher you just appreciate it you appreciate the food a lot more so just a couple benefits i i in, in the back of my mind from dieting and uh, i'm gonna let you guys go because this freaking oatmeal is delicious